What up, YouTube? Good morning. It is Monday. Everything is open down in Ponce now, and we have a little bit more provisioning to do. I need to pick up some accoutrements for the air gun, and then we need to pick up some of those goofy little water shoes at Walmart, and we are going to be doing some adventuring today. I am not 100% sure what we're doing, but y'all are coming with us, just like always. The foraging has already begun. Not really. I just picked this avocado off the tree by the pool. There is another race runner. Hey, little buddy. I'm going to catch you. I am going to catch one before we leave. Y'all ready to roll out? Yeah. Liz has got her backpack on. She's ready for adventure. It's an Osprey pack as well. They make really good gear. Mm -hmm. Zoom in on that. I do love their packs. Always stay safe, y'all. Our first stop today is gonna to be Blue Water Scuba, and that's where we are going to rent a scuba tank in order to fill the FX Crown so we can start doing some hunting. <coughs> a traffic jam in Ponce. Some feral horses are crossing the road. <laughs> They look pretty healthy. Yeah. Oh, they're going to that grass. There's another oh, one. There's, there's a, a whole, whole bunch, bunch of them. them. A cold. <laughs> look at that white one. Oh, so pretty. It's awesome. <laughs> look at the bloodthirsty iguana on the mural. Mm -hmm. And that's like Rasta Iguana Man. I don't know who that is. But that is definitely a killer iguana. Okay, we are now at Blue Water Scuba in Ponce, and we're talking with Jesus. Jesus, hi, how are you? And he's gonna help us get the bottle rigged up. This is a fantastic store. It's got a lot going on. Are you having buyer's place. regret with your Walmart mask? Your snorkel mask? Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can probably get water shoes here. Okay, this is what we are gonna use. This is the yoke that goes to the scuba tank and this is the head gun fill adapter well this store just gets better and better every time i turn around i'm just blown away i am so impressed oh and i got leader material finally that is awesome i am so impressed with this store they've even got air guns they've even got air guns with the gamma springers it looks like i'm telling you i cannot get over how impressed i am with blue water scuba I might be buying another air gun, a Springer. Um, I won't end up flying home with this. I'll probably leave it with a friend down here, but just so we can get more guns killing eggies. They've got a huge selection of spear guns, lobster sacks. You've got wetsuits, dry bags, rash guards, everything, everything you need. This store is incredible. There's the tank. Here's everything else. We even picked up another gun because Liz wants to do some killing. Grab the food. That's perfect. Yeah. El yeah. Pueblo La Rambla is to go in this road. We are now set. We are going to grab down on some lunch and Jesus recommended a place up here. It's in a supermarket. It's got like the steam tables, buffet with all local food he says it's excellent and it's inexpensive and that's the kind of stuff we eat at home so we're gonna go grow you and your true timber shirt <laughs> i'm hungry <laughs> i am hungry oh i'm getting excited i know me too <laughs> that's it uh, uh that's it. real babes just ordered a colada i didn't even know they had them uh, and if y'all watch their other videos in Florida, you know what a colada is. This stuff is like a rocket fuel with caffeine. Oh, gracias. Oh, now you got your caffeine. I know. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm gonna show y'all why I'm excited. Check this out. Oh, Ropa Vea, carnitas, plantains, tostone, yuca.
Okay, y'all, that lunch we just had was $8 a box, and it was packed. I thought it was a great deal and awesome food. Mm. What did you think, baby? I think Jesus hit that on the head, man. That was great food. It was. Mm -hmm. I think it's the best deal we've ever gotten as far as grub. It's up there. Yeah? Yeah. Look up in the mountains, y'all. It's rainy. It rains almost every single day. The mountains up here get six meters of rain annually. That is absolutely tremendous. We get about 23 inches back in Bono Beach annually, and I think it rains a lot. Six meters, that's, that's close to 20 feet of rain annually. Absolutely incredible. Uh-oh, time for the water shoes. I love the stuff. I'm always down with salad. Mm -hmm. This is yuca, and it's one of my favorites. You can eat it fried, almost like french fries. You can eat it boiled with butter and a little salt and garlic. Love that stuff. Look at you with your fancy fan. We'll be in the river soon. I actually brought this from home, we believe that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Real babes is fanning herself. Liz and I are smart. We got in the car. The AC is pumping. This AC feels so good. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Turn left. There's a water leak or runoff. Who knows what it is? No, that just popped up. We got water on both sides of the street now. We are finishing up running errands. This is the final errand we have to run. I can still smell lunch. They gave us so much food. I think we all ate like half. The rest is sitting in boxes in the back seat and I can smell it. And it is making me so hungry because it was so good. I'm gonna blow it up. Like I say all the time, I don't know if y'all are gonna be seeing it but we figured out where the rain or the uh, runoff in the streets coming from you can see the cloud cover here and it comes all the way down and it comes over you can see a little bit more of the mountains but it is dumping hard and we talked with jesus earlier and he went up to the mountains the other day yesterday and couldn't make it back because there was a mudslide and there is a river just raging across one of the roads that he went up there. So he had to reroute and come home a different way. Mm -hmm. We're coming up on the horses again. Horsey horses. There's one right in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are yeah. yeah. We are headed back up into the mountains and that rain is still hitting hard. So I don't know that we're gonna be swimming in the river today. We might have to formulate another plan but you can see the rain up there and within about i don't know five six minutes we're going to go up in elevation so high we're going to be up in those mountains and we're going to be in the rain so we'll have a better idea of what's going on and we were talking about swamp horses real babes just lost her horse about three months ago and he was a marsh tacky it's actually south carolina state horse and they were well they were bred out of wild horses basically mustangs that escaped from sinking spanish ships along the coast and they were wild in south carolina forever and real babes just informed me that what was it he is on the critically endangered species list and was one of 400 left on earth and we couldn't have bred him because uh, he was gelded, which means he was a stallion without. <laughs> it definitely looks a lot clearer up where we're headed. So hopefully we are in luck. Okay, it was raining right here not too long ago. We are coming into a little bit of rain. You can see it up there. Oh, it's raining. Doing it? No, they're not humping, they're fighting. That one oh. dog's scared and the other dog's like, I am going to beat you up. <laughs> and they decided to stop and look at us. Okay, we are gonna go back to the compound. We are going to get our groceries unpacked and then we're gonna get down out of the mountains simply so we can do something. 
we're really limited on what we can do in the rain, which is obvious. So we're going to get back to dry Your weather. Car. Oh, oh, oh. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm like, I hope a car is not coming around that blind curve. <laughs> and then you have the mirrors on these roads. You know what I mean? A lot of the islands, they'll have uh, mirrors on the roads when you have these blind curves coming up the switchbacks. That just makes the driving here more exciting. Exciting. That's one word for it. I bubble. Was it lightning? Yep. Uh, yeah, let's get out of the mountains. We are at the Hacienda packing up gear and it is dumping hard up here in the mountains. Put him in the outdoor shower. Uh, and angled him. Yeah, it is dumping hard. Yeah. Y'all want to let it let up for a bit and then yeah. Get down off the mountain? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Liz just came in and it was like, check out the water. The reservoir. I'm just saying, like, it looks so different now. It looks way different. That water came up so high. Liz and I were sitting out here earlier and we're looking at the dam and we're like, why is the dam so tall? That's, <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why the dam is so tall. Okay, we are packed up. Fishing bowls, guns hidden under that stuff, fly rods, machetes, snorkel gear, pole spears, water, water shoes, backpacks. We're ready. That's exactly what it is, real babes. Oh, yeah. I called it. Iguana poop. Shh. Real babes is critiquing my driving. <laughs> it's only fair. Uh -huh. <laughs> so far, we haven't seen any mudslides or even flash flooding on this road. Which is amazing. Which is very amazing. Yeah, I totally expected it. Here are cattle. And those look like Brahmas because Brahmas handle the heat really, really well. And that actually looks like a Brangus. Yeah, they mix it with Black Angus. Yeah, the yeah. Black Angus Brahma hybrid. So those are good, tasty hybrids. Okay, here's a little bit of a slide, but not much. Yeah, I'm glad we waited too. Yeah, that was a good call. This road would have been rough in that rain. <laughs> the rain. We got a ton of rain, y'all. Yeah. Like roads getting washed out and stuff. That that's something I want to like take into consideration. Almost like a. Uh, the rain really put a damper on our plans today. So we're exploring a couple of areas that we're actually looking and to buying a couple of properties, investing in. Right now we're at the beach. Which this place is bumping on the weekends. Oh, yeah. I was like, coral reef, awesome. They're swimming. Lame. This is a piece of brain coral. Cute. Okay, y'all. In here in the grass feeding is a flock of wild Quaker parrots. They're also called monk parakeets. And they are an invasive species. They nest and roost in colonies. They're incredibly bright. And these guys are actually pretty tame. Hi, little parrot buds. Y'all are getting, letting me get closer than I thought. Monk parakeets are an invasive species all over the world, basically. There's actually a lot of them up in New York. Florida's got a ton. And I believe it's Connecticut that has a ton as well. Oh, yeah. So you still got the purple? The rest of it's dead. Oh, so that was what? Purple fan coral? Mm hmm That was cool. All that is little chunks and fingers off of staghorn coral. What's that? Um, I'm not sure. I've seen it. It's, it grows sort of the same way the uh, brain coral does. Okay. Check this sign out, y'all. See how the middle split? It was blowing down in the storm. Hey, uh, it 
started filming too late. We just saw the lagoon, which is the second snorkel spot that we're going to check out. That's the one Liz found. And the really cool thing is, after these little sprinkles finish up today, we're done with the rain, supposedly, for a week. This is rather interesting. This is rather interesting. Woo! Oh, we're not landing on one, so I guess it's okay. Yeah. And then we'll we're not allowed, or we're not sure if we're allowed to drive in, but we're going to. And then turn right. Okay. It looks like. Uh, it looks like the storm hit this place bad. It did. It already does look like that. We are not sure what this place was, but it looks like it was a campground, like an RV park. Okay. We didn't push it open, but it's open. Here we go, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Maybe glass. Yeah, it's all storm debris. We made it, y'all. We're about to go down and do some exploring. Real babes had to grab her bug spray. Dead, they eat me alive. Now, up here, you can't really see it. There's stadium seating. And what we think this was, was an old go-kart racetrack. Like a heavy, high-ended, European-style kart racing. Oh yeah, this looks like a good snorkeling area. It's like right out here. Right? Oh look, you can see break out there. There's reef right there. All these limpet shells and... I mean, all the different types. Look at like this. Look yeah. how beautiful this is. This one? Look at these. I don't even recognize these. I think those are sponges. Oh, yeah. Or a plant of some sort. Here's a chunk of brain coral. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to kick my flip-flops off. and <laughs> The water is like bath water. A lot warmer than our pool. <laughs> I know. I hope they pop back up for y'all on YouTube. There, you can see them. There's a couple of nurse sharks out here feeding. Yeah, and their tail when they go down to grab. And the sun is setting on us, y'all. This is some of the endangered and threatened porcelain coral. It's rarely seen. Laura just picked up a conch shell. You can see. And what they do is you come in here with like a slag hammer for welding and you pop, 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 pop. And you go through there and then you use a butter knife and you sever the muscle attached to the shell and all the conch pulls right out of there. We should grab some conch tomorrow, y'all. Mm. be good. Yeah. Make some conch salad. Or the, the, or the fritters. Mm. Yeah. The fritters, yeah. yes. Here is the shell of a land crab. And if we catch any of those, they're tasty. I'll tell you, we might even see some on this blacktop getting out of here tonight. Okay, I want to show you all a couple more things before we leave this area. These are all the stadium seating for the racetrack. We are on the racetrack right now. That's what we're driving down. And up here, there is a pretty burly washout from the storm. And I'm going to show that to y'all. Okay, y'all, this is all storm debris blowing across the racetrack here. Over here on the chain link fence, you can see how high the water was with the storm surge coming in because you got all this sargassa and other seaweed that is caught on the links. And you can see how high up it got. I think it's pretty cool that we will be snorkeling at an abandoned racetrack tomorrow. We found another access point, and so we're gonna jump out and check it out before we lose daylight altogether. And there's the stadium seats that we were at earlier. And now we're gonna check out another snorkel spot. Get the cars there. Oh yeah. Oh, this is all sand too, no coral. 
Look at the beach houses up on the stilts there. I just realized this is a abandoned water park, I guess. That's a big water slide. How was it? Beautiful. I started getting bit up by sand gnats, so I came back. <laughs> Plus, I forgot the keys in the car. I didn't oh, want to leave no. it in there. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Let's find. We'll find a place to park, and we'll get out and explore our city Watch center. This oh yeah, I see the person. Oh, look at the fountain with the lions. There's the lion, Liz. Yeah. Okay, we'll park and get out. Emily. Yeah. And see churches. This is the city center. Oh, there's the firehouse right there. I love these banyan trees. This is the historic Ponce Firehouse. Wow, that is impressive. That's really cool. Wow, you can feel that water from here. Okay, Real Babes ordered some ceviche, and we got some corn sticks, and that is mayo ketchup, which is just mayonnaise and ketchup. And this ceviche is a little different. It's yeah, I got it with the passion fruit instead of like lemon or lime, which is normally what we do. I'm excited to give that a twirl. YouTube's waiting for the verdict. All right. Mm -hmm. Good? Yep. Oh yeah, that's a winner. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. give that a twirl. This passion fruit ceviche is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm. Ooh. Laura and Liz both went with Tarasco. I went with a top steak. We are headed back up the mountain, y'all. Here we are. Back at the compound. I'm going to blind you. Sorry. That was today's adventure, y'all. I know it wasn't too terribly exciting. Um, we had a little bit more provisioning to do and the rain really put a damper on today's plans. Now we do have the family truckster all packed up, ready to roll tomorrow. And I think we're gonna hit the river first thing. And y'all are coming with us. We will see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all.